video and in this video we are going to learn about uh, how to use matrix to run parallel logging so parallel jobs in Travis CI so first of all let's know what is matrix in Travis CI so uh, a build matrix is made up of several jobs uh, multiple jobs that run parallelly if you want to run a multiple job uh, parallelly and concurrently then we are uh, we will be using matrix in Travis CI which uh, the main purpose of running matrix uh, using matrix is that it will reduce the overall build time and execution and you can test different versions and different uh, dependencies with the code so that uh, you can find out it is uh, capable to run from a, with different versions of uh, of uh, programming language or other dependencies or not so uh, uh, basically there are there are two ways to define a matrix in dot travis dot yml file and first way is uh, matrix expansion feature for example now here let me just show you so your so here is a node.js version we are testing a node.js application and here is a node.js version and uh, version is uh, in a version 10 9 8 7 and 6 and os file and linux and os OSX. So uh, we are testing uh, our application in Node.js and uh, OS Linux and and uh, OSX, and it will individually run actually up 10, 10 individual jobs, which is uh, calculated as five Node.js versions into two OS. So it will run 10 jobs. It will run uh, 10 jobs. Uh, 10 jobs in a Travis .yml file. Uh, because it is written in this way and this is called a matrix expansion I will show you to demo in a, a bit later and after that we will be uh, the another way is a listing individual job for example if you want a specific uh, version of node.js on a specific uh, OS to execute then you can uh, run in this way so for example name if we are uh, giving the job name v1 and a node.js version 10 we are using the OS Linux so it will run this script in this combination and in the name to uh, Node.js version 9 and OS version OS X it will run uh, this script and uh, other uh, in this way you can uh, specify the specific uh, combinations in which your this code will be executed so other other than that is you can also use excluding jobs so that uh, you can and only run the uh, your required jobs and uh, will decrease will not uh, increase unnecessary uh, time in your build uh, run uh, build run time so it will decrease unnecessary run time bill uh, by excluding the unnecessary job for example if you need if we are uh, testing the node.js application in node.js version 10 and 9 and in linux and in uh, osx operating system then uh, if you want to uh, execute your application uh, uh, with node.js version 1 version 10 and uh, linux and os linux then we have we have specified this and if you want to test our your application with node.js version 9 and apple and and osx means apple os then uh, you give this in this way you can give two uh, two names for your uh, for your uh, name cases so that uh, it satisfy your condition and run this command so after that uh, you can what you can do with that you can you can write job exclude and it, uh, these two combinations are really you want to test and you do not want any other combinations to test so uh, you can use this uh, exclude uh, uh, feature of an inner job so that you can exclude other so for example and let's check and uh, let's exclude node.js version 10 and os os x apple os and node.js version 9 and os linux so it will execute these two combination uh, exclude these two combination and run only these two combination actually here here there are two uh, versions of node.js and a uh, two uh, operating system then if we do not mention any name and any and any ex, uh, any include if you do not include and exclude any combination then it will uh, execute all four jobs means uh, two into two means four jobs so in this way 
it will execute and it will work so let me show you the demo so first of all let me open the terminal branch I am so I am a matrix man so uh, you can visualize so let me open the code in a VS code you can use any code editor you want so so here is uh, let's go to Travis dot YML so here what we have done is that we want to check all these five versions of node with OS uh, Linux and and apple os and we want to print the script hello simple script hello world we just want to print script hello world so let's go and make certain change in the code so let's change uh, oh hello world from You save this so after saving let me check the status so i have changed this let me add this this commit hyphen uh, let me do update it dot travis dot yml then let me do push origin to my matrix branch so I have pushed my code to the matrix branch so let me go and check in Travis so this is so you can see that 10 jobs are in queue because uh, our our application will be tested in five node.js node versions and two operating system 5 into 2 means 10 so let's check so first of all five job concurrently, concurrently parallelly has been executed so you can see five job has been executed parallelly so let me, let's wait for some time the job to be executed so since five job has been completed so this another five job will be executed so let's go and check this one so it says hello world from devops tutorial so here you can see five job has been executed and five are in queue so wait for some time to execute this five job as well time so let me uh, show you another uh, uh, demo uh, of how we can uh, include and exclude jobs uh, uh, for uh, by using uh, specific combinations of uh, the uh, matrix so let's go so uh, uh, so let us look at this dot travis dot example dot yml so in this uh, what we have uh, done is that we have given two nodejs version now version 10 and version 9 and we have given two OS so Linux and Apple OS so and we are running this in a matrix one so what we have done is that we have included two jobs name v1 and name v2 and if the node.js application is 10 and in a node and OS is Linux then we are echoing hello world from node.js 10 and Linux and and in a, another new job near version 2 and where uh, node.js uh, version is 9 and an os is apple os then we are equating to the script is that uh, hello world from node.js and apple and what we have, are doing is that we are excluding uh, another two uh, combinations in the matrix that is when the node.js version is 10 
and OS is equals to Apple then it will exclude that one and when the node says torsion is 9 and the uh, uh, OS is Linux then it will exclude this one so it will overall will execute two jobs this one uh, jobs name version 1 v1 and name v2 so these two jobs will execute it so let's check here if it has been completed or not so it has been completed so let me check this one as well so it also says hello world from the box as well so let's go and uh, let's go and uh, use this one so let me copy this one and let me oops let me paste this one here so yes here we are doing this so let me save this one so i have changed the change dot travis dot yml uh, now the status so let me check the status so it is modified it says so let us go to git add So, so you have here you can see that the two jobs has been uh, queued and Node.js came. Yes, two jobs had been queued. So yes, let's go here. So yes, the two jobs has has been uh, uh, two job has been queued. So in this two job. Uh, the first will learn Linux and Node.js version 10 and second will learn uh, Node.js version 9 and Apple because we have selected the combination in such way version 10 and Linux and version 9 and Apple so in this way uh, uh, matrix 6 matrix has to work in in, dot, uh, in Travis Travis to execute uh, jobs parallelly so uh, one thing lastly is that you can also go to this uh, 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 this logging uh, site uh, which i am uh, i am currently writing all the content about the video i will uh, uh, give the description link of this uh, this website in the description below so that you guys can be uh, you guys can go and check this out if you know want any more information about uh, matrix uh, and to run parallel jobs in travis so and that's it and if you guys have any comment and any any issues and any questions then you guys can and ask me in the comment section below i will be uh, replying to you guys as soon as possible uh, thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to this video to this channel uh, if you think this video is good give, the, give us a like button and yeah thank you